What is going on everybody? This is Johnny here with Sierra Whiskey Co. And today we are going to be assembling and testing some improvised body armor. This book is so much harder to read now. Things are getting wild out there, friends. We've got mobs, we've got civil unrest, we've got rioters spilling out into the suburbs from the city. So it seems like a perfect time to do a little experiment today. We are going to take a book by Clint Emerson, retired Navy SEAL, called 100 Deadly Skills, and we are going to attempt skill number eight using improvised body armor. We're going to assemble according to his instructions. Then we're gonna take it to the range and test it using some common calibers. And if it survives, maybe some not so common calibers. We have nine millimeter, we have 45 ACP, we have 50 Action Express, get that Desert Eagle rolling again, hopefully. Then we'll do 556, 308, or 308, as some people like to call it. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we've got enough space left on those plates, we are going to move to 30 aught six. That's a hell of a deer cartridge right there, eh? Sometimes the jokes, they just write themselves. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. We now have our materials for assembly, our hardcover books, duct tape, and ceramic tiles. So we're gonna begin here by placing some duct tape sticky side out on the cover so the tiles will hold in place. We'll assemble the tiles to cover as much of the front as we can, and then begin to tape around them. If your tiles are irregularly sized, you can score them with the Dremel, and then use some pliers to snap them along the score line. Once we finish that, we're going to completely tape the book to make sure the ceramic tiles are contained during use. I weighed a set of these, this one came out to 9.3 pounds, the other one was just over 10. Here we're creating the shoulder straps, just putting the sticky sides of two pieces of tape together. Then go ahead and tape your books together. Now we're going to fit it. Effectively here you are just making a plate carrier out of duct tape. Pretty simple. And now we head to the range. We did it. We made it to the range. And we're gonna have a special guest today. Goes by the name of Batman. Here's Batman. What's up, what's up? Are you ready to see if this body armor works today? I'm excited, yeah. Let's check it out. All right. We should have got some sunscreen for him. It's hot. Dude. <laughs> Wisconsin in late <laughs> August. It's hotter and more humid. Than the devil's gooch. <laughs> yeah, very fair. So here are the guns that we will be testing today. We've got the nine millimeter Tax Sport Orange CZ. We have a GI Expert Para Ordnance. Got the trusty old Desert Eagle. Got a little bit of a Frankenstein build here. Half use of sock, half 
I don't know, Santan. 308 rifle, 30 out 6 rifle, and bonus guns today. PS90 if it makes it that far, and the KSG. We're gonna have some fun. All right, these are 115 grain FMJs. Because, let's face it, if you're wearing that kind of body armor, it's probably gonna be something someone bought from Walmart and they didn't discern. Are these good hollow points? What kind of wound channel will they leave? They're just gonna try and shoot you. You are right. All right. So, hit a corner, not exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I don't see anything either. Nothing. Stop the nine That was a mil. clean, clean capture. All right, it feels like, I don't think the other tiles are broken. Okay. So let's uh. Did get a little uh, little crack at the top there though. A little chip though. Yeah. A lot of shock. Let's get the uh, 1911. That man's gonna show us how it's done. Okay. So we got a 230 grain FMJ. Dice. See what we got. <clears throat> How'd I do? Upper right quadrant. Okay. Yeah, we're we're both shooting kind of low here. Yeah. But uh, let's see. Let's check it out. Let me do the strap there. What do we got? Some little bit of. Uh... We got nothing. Okay. Nothing went through. Wow. All right. <laughs> a little bit of dust coming out the front there. It's okay. Yeah. So far, improvised body armor works. Nice. Joe, you still doing good? Sorry, not sorry, Joe. That's what happens when you give me bad business advice. <laughs> so Mike has never shot the Desert Eagle. It's the dream right here. This is every kid's dream. You know what it really is? It is, yeah. I mean, if you're a cool kid. Yeah, right, right. Shoot like here. Okay. So a couple inches down from yeah. the first shot. Yeah, somewhere in there. We're still, we still have integrity there, so. Okay. I'll keep it to the right. I'll keep my stuff on the right there. Pop your Ooh. Desert Eagle, Cherry. She's hot. She's ready to go. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Caught one to the head there. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. saw you jump. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's going to be great in slow-mo playback. <laughs> all right. Not that's, too, all right, a little, little to the right. That's a much bigger hole. It is, it I mean, is. you can my tell whole, it cracked the plate right My whole it. finger in there. So, that is a 300 grain hollow point. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Uh -oh. It stopped it. <laughs> Holy cow, I wouldn't have guessed that. That's crazy. It stopped it. Is that it right there? Yeah, uh, no, it's still like back, it like broke the book. Oh, sweet. It broke the binding on the book. How's Joe? Joe's, he's okay. He, I he's mean, like Joe's unscathed. probably got a hell of a lot of broken ribs right now. Wow. <sighs> he doesn't have a hole in him though. Still alive. All right. Okay. That means he wants to test more. Let's do it. Okay. What's next? We're going to do... Uh, Should we strap him back up? We might as well hit a 5.56 five, right here. That makes sense. Should we strap him back up here? Yeah, strap. Let's strap on. All right. Yeah, I think I'm good. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. That's exactly where I wanted to hit. All right. Let's see what you did. Oh, oh little dust. This, this one might have went through. Hold on, let's get her. Yep. Okay. Good that spacing. Was a Fifty-five grain full metal jacket. You see anything over there? I don't. I I might have a little bulge in the uh, tape. A little bulge where? <laughs> <laughs> in the pants <laughs> in the tape America, there freedom. <laughs> freedom yeah wow it stopped that too crazy 
Tell you what, we might as well send a bonus. Let's do the 5.7 PS90 right here. Sounds like a plan. Tight. Yep. So 5.7, what do you got? This 40 grain uh, full metal jacket? Yeah. yeah, the Federals. Okay. I believe it's Federal this time. <clears throat> All right, what do we think? Uh, right side, bottom quadrant? Yeah, let's, let's go for like right below where the, the 50 hit. I will do my best. All right, let's see here. So there's our entry hole. Alright. Look at that tiny little hole. Yep. So five five nothing six. Nothing out the back again. Five seven. Wow. Nothing? Nothing. We got nothing. Alright. That's amazing. Alright. Should I just turn it around this way? There we go. Good, good flip. Armhole. Nice. We pretty good on that side? Pretty good. We got a 308, 308, 168 grain full metal jacket, I think. I'll have to check that. It might be a hollow point bow tail. I think it's a full metal jacket. We're gonna back up a little bit. Yeah, good idea. And uh, well, let's give her a go. So these are a little bit thicker. So these are like Probably got an extra half inch of book here, but the same amount of tile. So that's okay. why we reserve this side for the rifle. What's your bet? You think it goes through or you think it stops it? I think it's going to stop it, actually. Uh, you know, I do too. But for the sake of the argument, something's got to go through. Something's got to. Something. This should be the one to go through. We'll find out. Gave him a little rock. <laughs> what do we got? Okay. All right. That might have. Oh. That went through. Oh. Get it from this side, man. All right. That. That uh, penetrated. We might be able to recover that bullet, though. It's like wow. right on the edge. Wow. That's a little deeper than I thought, actually. You think it's in him? In him, in him? I think it's inside of you, Joe. Boy. Joe the dummy finally got injured. Well, that smile was, uh, was a fake smile. <sighs> wow. So we can see that the bullet is right there. There's no way I'm getting that out. Okay. Maybe I did bring some pliers. What are some pliers? Let's see. Uh, we got a piece of it. Nope. Too deep. So, uh, bonus gun. ASG shotgun. What do you got here? Double op buck? Yep. It's uh, so this is my home defense gun. Um, it's it's just awesome. I don't know. I really like it. It's a bit heavy. Uh, it's got a couple accessories on it. I mean, it's just great. All the rounds. Okay. Well, it's the moment of truth. You ready? You've never shot this, so okay. and I'll, I'll I'll give you a little hint. Unlike the 50 cal, the shell isn't going to hit you in the head like it did me. Oh, okay. It comes directly out the bottom, so you're safe. Well, that's You're amazing. welcome. It's not fun at all. Who <laughs> <laughs> nice. That did not make it through, but it definitely bowed out that book a little bit. Yeah, let's get a look on this side. Yeah, definitely wasn't going to go through on that one. Man, that's impressive. 
It is. Well, you might as well shoot him with the KSG as well for good measure. We got, we have the knowledge. Aw, shucks. We might as well destroy it. Oh yeah. Oh. The bottom edge. That's right on the verge of where there are no tiles. Nothing. That stopped her. Oh my God, that did some damage though. That double that buck. Yeah, it was a... My goodness. All right. I think... I think it's time to hydrate. Good call. It's super hot out. Sweating right out the jeej. <laughs> I want you to go ahead and tippity-tap that like button. And if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and swipe right on that subscribe button. Sounds good to me. It's, we have our plate here. Got the two slugs and the 308 right there. And this was the first one with all the pistol rounds. Nine millimeter. 45, 50 AE, and then that was 5.56. And then that little guy was 5.7. Start ripping. Look at you, you came prepared. These tiles are just gonna be toast. I know, I'm L45. I'm L45. 50. 50. And 556, five, and then the 5.7. Boy, that one. Right down there. Oh. Got one? Yep. What do we got? That guy right there has got to be the 45. And hold on. Hold on. Here, can I have your pliers? Yeah. This is the time where I would. Time to do some surgery. Oh, yeah. There you go. Jeez. Yeah, that's the nine mil. I mean, I'd say it made it that's through. forty-five. Close to half of the book. It's nine mil. Forty-five. You found the fifty. Yep, fifty got stopped in the second book. Um, I would say probably in the actual tiles themselves. So it made it to the second plate. Yep. Hit the tiles, but didn't penetrate into the pages. Let's take a look at that. Let's focus here. So it kind of puts a... Oh, just a big... A, yeah, a heck of a dent. But that broke. Look at that energy, that, though. Yeah, Check that, that out. actually broke the back of that book all the way through. Yeah. That is a hell of a lot of energy. It's a lot of broken ribs. Oh, God. Oh, all of them on that side. Good old Guinness Book of World Records. Just did another record. <laughs> yeah. Of course you turn to the page with the big boobs. <laughs> I didn't even know World's that. biggest boobs, of course, Batman. I forgot about that. Oh, oh, oh. You forgot about boobs? No, I forgot that that was in this one. Oh, okay. These used to be a big deal in school. Right? That's definitely That's the one. That's the 5.56, five, right? Yeah, I think it is. So, what did it make it through? About a third of the way through the second book? Yeah. Not bad. So, five, so let's, let's open that up a little. Let's look at this hole here. So that is pretty substantial. Pretty, yeah, pretty substantial hole there for making it into the second book. And then it didn't make it too much further. Five seven didn't go. Actually, didn't go in. So five five six. Oh oh oh. What's that? That's the 5.7? That's got to be, yeah. So 45. 5.7 so didn't break the cover of the second book. So in order of depth, we have the 5.56 made it the furthest. Mm -hmm. Then the 5.7 was about a third of the book in a cover. Less. And then we had 9 millimeter. Mm-hmm. 
and then 45. And... 50 AE. 50 AE. So the 50 AE actually made it pretty far, but did a hell of a lot more damage than anything else. Yeah. Just, whole, just... This whole indentation right there. This massive damage. So this whole back of this book was just broken from all the energy pouring through there. Crazy. All right, let's do the second one. We are going on to the, this is the rifle and slug book. Yeah, which, man. Which that 308 passed right through. Oh yeah. It just smoked it, 160 grain, full metal jacket, no contest. And this, this is actually thicker than that other set by about a half inch of book. It had the same amount of ceramic tiles, but half inch of book thicker. So let's see if we can uh, recover some double op buck here. That was a big chunk. That was huge. That one, and I think we're coming up on even more. Oh yeah, here we go. God. Buckshot did quite a number there. Quite a bit of energy transfer. But still, the plates stopped it. So the only thing that made it through, all of them, is 308. Now, in the book, he said to use two books and then put ceramic tiles on the front book. However, being the overachievers that we are, we put ceramic tiles on the front of both books. So we had an extra protective layer, which clearly helped quite a bit. All in all, it wasn't even that much heavier. But the cost benefit seems to be that much better. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean those those tiles for they were sixteen cents a piece. Except for the long skinny tiles were seventy nine cents. So I mean super cheap way to stay safe. If I mean this is clearly at your own risk, we do not recommend trying this at home. But this is going to be better than nothing if you were in an emergency situation. So from what I've heard, the guys who have been shot yeah. and shot in the plates yeah. say it hurts much less to be shot and it hurts way worse in the plates. The energy. Just that, just a nice slap. Yeah. Like the world's hardest belly flop. Ooh. I never want to experience it. No. Well, that was a fun experiment. Pretty interesting. I think we did pretty darn good, all things considered, considering it was a $5 roll of duct tape, 16 cents for the square tiles, and the books were free. So in case of an emergency, that's probably gonna be better than nothing. I do urge you, however, to always use professional supervision. Don't try this at home. If you do so, it is at your own risk. We have no intention of anyone else ever trying this, ever, ever, ever. Next week, we are going to be doing more escaping restraints. My wrists have finally healed, so we're going to move on to escaping zip ties and zip cuffs. And until then, keep on rocking in the free world. 30 out 6 simply because if you live in the Midwest, and society falls apart, you might be getting shot with one. So, we'll see how that works out. Now, what's a really weird man name? Eugene. Eugene. Yeah. There's not a lot of genes. Not really. Not anymore. Yeah. It's of a bygone era. That was crazy. Yeah, that was awesome. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah.